everyone. It's me, Jennifer Lee, aka J. Lee. I'm gonna do a weekly reading and I know everyone's kind of, you're either freaking out, bored, or you're playing with yourself too much because um, we're all stuck in this quarantine life together and you know, I've realized during my time of being quarantined, this is day 10 for me, that I'm actually used to this. My whole life, I've been stuck in my room because my dad was so strict on me growing up. And it kind of feels like that. Like I'm kind of forced to be inside and figure out what I like to do. And truthfully, if my dad didn't lock me up in my room as a, as a kid, I wouldn't have discovered my passion for the arts and acting and comedy and I wouldn't have pursued my major in media production. So this time of quarantine kind of reminds me of that and I feel like because we're all so used to being out and about and working and doing things always on the go always trying to go somewhere always trying to do something with other people for your boss for your family like just so much stress and now we each have that opportunity to just sit back be alone um in our own space and I, I don't know if you're like me but my family is not here with me I'm here with my roommates but I'm technically here quarantine myself in the room because that's what you're supposed to be doing during this time anyways um, yeah I've learned a lot about myself and I don't know who I don't know how long this is gonna last but I do know this a lot of good things are gonna happen when you have to face yourself when you're really alone and the only things you can do is, you know, figure out what to do. But this is a good time to just really take care of yourself, really be with yourself, um, figure out what you need to work on on yourself. Just, I mean, what else are you ever gonna get this much time alone? You know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta make the most of this. I got my tea, I got my blueberries, I got my incense running and I'm ready. I'm ready to see what this time of solitude will be like. All right, guys, here is the reading for the the general reading for the week. Please um, just know this is just a general reading. All my readings are supposed to be fun, positive vibes. Like, do not, you know, depend your whole life on this reading, but do you take in consideration um, what the spirits are telling us during this time? And I hope I can make y'all laugh, smile, relax, whatever it is y'all need to do. So, for a lot of people, okay, we started off with the Kings of Wands here. This is, this card means this is a time to be a visionary to be doing something for yourself as in create goals G goals as in not just be rich because now we don't know what's gonna happen with the economy like this is a moment where everyone is kind of being able to start over being able to have the opportunity to start over with their life with their jobs with everything that's been going on because of this coronavirus, because of this outbreak, because of this quarantine, it is putting a lot of people out of work. Um, and it's honestly, it's giving people a lot of opportunities too for the future. Meaning, I know right now this is a really tough time. No one knows what's gonna happen. No one knows what to do. And all we can do right now is kind of wait this out and see what happens. Um, and for those of you who are quarantined like I am and who are stuck in their room alone or stuck at home or just got nothing to do, uh, this is a great time to figure out what you want to do. And nobody else, y'all have nobody distracting you. You have, no, you have nobody telling you what to do or how to do things. Like, it, 
if you are out of work, you don't have your boss telling you things to do, like you don't have your, if you're with your family, yeah, maybe, but all in all, this is a chance for people to start over and start to actually figure out what they really want for themselves. And with this card, it's just saying, find things that really give you a sense of purpose, the sense of wanting to do something with your life. And I think we're all in this predicament, this pandemic together. So what can we do in this moment to provide or to serve? Um, what is our purpose now that everything's kind of put on hold? Like what do we really want to do? And how are we, like how do we envision it? How do we dream it? Anything you want in your life, now here's a chance to figure that out, y'all. So we do have a lot of swords here at the beginning. Usually with swords, this is, usually when you see a lot of swords, I, I think of thinking with your brain a lot or trying to cut through all the bullshit. Um, <laughs> this is what, a, this, this part, we're gonna go through it, but I basically feel like there's a lot of things we need to cut out for ourselves. Ah, oh, yes. So when the two of swords in reverse, it means we need to tune out the news, tune out the noise, um, because it is constantly overriding our mental capabilities. Like right now we have so much it's mental overload. Basically there's so much happening online, there's so much happening on the news and what we see and our news feed that it is overpowering our, our, our brain. So we need to take a step back. This means we need to stop. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's true. The more we keep listening to the news, the more that is gonna stay within our brain and it's gonna like overload us with so much stress. The reason why we're panicking so much or the reason why there's so much fear into people is because of what we see, what we hear, what we witness. Um, there's just so much negativity when it comes to the news and be because of this, you know, epidemic or this pandemic. And we have to cut, cut it out. We have to cut out the noise because it's not healthy for our brains. It's too, it's too much. It's a lot of stress. It's overworking our brains to a point where we ourselves feel the panic because we are feeling things from the news. They project that kind of news out there for us to not only process, but to feel too. And the two of swords in reverse is just saying we need to slow down. We need to take a break from social media, take a break from technology, take a break from the news and just like recenter ourselves. Come back to us, really take it in, take some time away from it, like decompress y'all. Decompress from the news, okay? This card, what is it? It looks crazy, right? It looks like this bitch is trying to like um, protect herself. And that's exactly what y'all need to do right now. You, I understand everyone feels lonely. Everyone feels like needy for attention or needy to, for something to do, right? But we have to be careful not to bother people either or not to put our stress onto others so much. And we gotta be careful who we confine our feelings to because, because this is a time for us to really protect ourselves because we have to, okay? Well, Self-quarantine is the best thing we can do to help in this pandemic, all right? This is the only time we, we, ha we have to understand if we go out there, we tell anyone anything, we touch anything, that can, spread like wildfire we can really hurt people if we don't stay inside and do what we need to do to protect not just ourselves but the general wealth too and with this card is just saying please be careful uh please be careful and who you interact with who you can find with like just if you can please stay in don't don't involve so many people in what's going on because this is this really is the time to be with yourself. This is a time for everyone to protect yourself, protect, I understand, protect your family, protect your kids, but we also have to do what's best for them too and us. We don't wanna get anyone sick. We don't want that stuff to be spreading. 
we want to do our best to not not hurt ourselves not hurt anyone but protect protect us protect those around us be careful if you know the reason why people are, are social distancing is because everyone is trying to protect themselves and that's what we must do okay we have to protect ourselves because if we want to create a better future for our community for this world for our country then we ourselves need to take care of our health take care of our mental health take care of our physical health take care of our emotions do our best to be alone in this room okay so with the eight of swords she looks like she is blinded and held down right no that's exactly that's not it at all even though we are alone we have to see beyond our limits okay do you remember when you were a child and your parents said you couldn't go out and you had to entertain yourself in your room that's basically what this is and I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all discovered a lot about yourself your creative passions whether you're dancing alone in your room or writing in your room or painting or just expressing yourself because you had that space and time alone where no one is watching you there's no pressure and you have to see the opportunities beyond these walls okay and you a lot of people are very a lot of people tend to think there's nothing else I can do in this room I can't you know talk to people I can't go out and do what I need to do there's so much you can do inside this room y'all okay don't narrow your opportunities find ways to keep you busy to reach out to people whether that's online through the camera you know I can honestly I've danced in my room by myself I exercise yoga meditate sleep like read music there's just so many things you can do in this room alone and you know don't limit yourself do not limit yourself at all because there's just when you take the time to be alone and see the things that you can do for yourself, there's just so many things. You'd be really surprised what you can do when you have nothing to do but figure that out. <laughs> With the three of hearts in reverse, this is a time for everyone to, to really heal yourself, meaning you need to protect not only your mental health, but your heart. Your heart as in figure out what your heart really wants and learn how to love yourself and love the situation you're in right now. And for those of you who are in unfortunate situations, um, I'm sorry. I know this is a lot to handle and this is the time to start healing. It is this time to start forgiving yourself, forgiving people around you because this coronavirus, it's not just an Asian problem. It's not just a, an old people problem. It's an everybody problem, okay? It's everyone's problem. We're all in pain. We're all struggling. We're all feeling a lot of emotions, a lot of regrets or a lot of guilt. Maybe you're feeling scared because you don't know when you're going to hug your mom again or you're feeling really depressed because you really wanted to be with your boyfriend who's in Europe right now or maybe you're really depressed because you can't be with your grandparents, your parents, your aunts, your uncles, anybody who is over at 65 and you're just scared that this may be the last of it and you can't even be with them there physically. It's a lot. It is a lot of pain. It is a lot to deal with. I can understand why people are are sad, panicking, fear. But now, guys, this is this is the time to start forgiving yourself, healing yourself. Know that this is this is a part of life. And we have to really stay strong if we want to get through it. I, 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 I understand completely. I, I know where that, what that's like. And truthfully, we need to forgive ourselves. 
We have to heal our hearts. We have to heal our souls. And this is the time to do it because what can we do if we're always hurting? You know, we have to be strong enough to get through it. And just take this time. Take a bre breather. Take it easy. Okay? Everything, like, you're okay. It's okay. You know, it, it's not the end of the world yet. Okay? Yet. It's not the end of the world. So we got to do what we can now and just forgive yourself. Okay? People, like, they have released prisoners out of jail like they got a second chance okay hopefully they heal themselves but i i honestly think in this time everyone we're all under the same sky under the same you know not the same roof but we are all in this together so let's heal together let's try to give ourselves love so when we do get through this we'll know what to we'll know how to handle it better okay so with the four of pentacles this is just saying everyone we are going to have some form of money coming to us we are we will we whether it's through the government whether we get these checks whether we get unemployment money whether we get tax refund whatever it is we're each going to have some kind of money coming into us because of the situation and everyone is going to get a piece of it and this is just saying we need to start building those stable money habits now um, because we are limited to our resources. This pandemic is forcing us to budget. It's forcing us to stop spending and actually think what is necessary for our lives. And this is going to teach us to be more independent and more stable so when we do have that abundance when we do have that money come in we will know that we're not going to spend it all on i don't know stupid maybe you might spend it on stupid things but most majority of us are going to have our finances in check and the reason why is because we have to budget for food budget for the necessity things we need and you know i'm a millennial at one point i was like i'm gonna throw down four hundred dollars to spend on a PlayStation 4 to entertain myself. But then I talked to my brother, and I talked to my brother, and he's like, no, do not spend that money. You need that money for food and resources and necessary things to help you because you don't have work, Jen. And I said, bless, my brother is right. And two days later, I got my food stamps approved, and I got two checks in the mail from work, and I say, okay, I cannot spend money like recklessly. Um, I still have some money habits I need, to, or money bad habits I need to get rid of, but this is true. This is honestly forcing me to be like, look, I don't have work right now. I can look for work, but the chances are finding jobs that is gonna pay well, it's hard. So I have to save, and so do you guys. As we are progressing, as we are progressing, with the Nine of Wands, it is telling us that we all need to take action. Take action within ourselves. Uh, because once we are able to get through this, we start to realize after we figure out our passions, after we cut out through all the bullshit and protect our energy, heal our hearts, and be responsible with our money, we're going to be so eager to start working again. We, we are going to be so much more intuitive with our heart and learn to think with our brains and seek out the opportunities in front of us because we have this time to really reflect on ourselves. And when we're able to get out, which we will, I promise y'all, we will. And this is just the hard part. It's figuring it all out. Um, but as, as we figure ourselves out, we start to get really enthusiastic about adventures that lie ahead. And I, I'm telling you all this because being able to start over fresh and new again, it's honestly more exciting because you don't know what's ahead. 
Um, you don't know where your heart lies and when you find out you're so excited to take that leap that faith whether it's applying for a new job or going on that trip you're finally going to because you realize wow I need to go travel while I can there's just so many exciting opportunities ahead of us and we have to take those risks because now we understand we now we know what it's like to be limited to be constrained and when we're out of this mess, we are going to take, we are going to take risk in a good way though. Okay. Taking risk as in going after the things we want in life and getting out of our comfort zone and really truly embracing our, our free spirit within. And you know, we're going to have an action plan because we got all this time. We're going to have plans to set out, um, or we're going to make plans to do it. Once we're able like I said, when we're going to get out of this, when we follow all of these guides, these lessons we're learning, when our heart is healed, when we take action, we are going to be so confident. This is a time for us to be confident in who we are um, and figuring all those things out and executing those plans we're going to make for when this is, when our quarantine is over. Uh, and if plans don't go accordingly, that's okay because we will have backup plans. We will have other things we can do because we work so hard just in our own space that there's just endless opportunities, endless plans to do things. And we're going to feel like we're sitting on a throne, basically. We're, we need to have that mentality, that attitude for us to figure ourselves out so we can serve a better purpose. I, I can't explain that enough, but it, it's true. I'm sure you're, you are all feeling it, but we all want a part in helping in this this pandemic. This I, I for sure want to, and I'm not, I'm not sure how, and I'm hoping this time alone, I don't know how long we're going to be quarantined, but we're going to figure it out. And once we're out of it, you know, we are going to take action and... It's going to lead us um, to feel more confident in not just ourselves, but our leaders too. And I understand with everything that's happening, it's so easy to focus on the things that our leaders are doing wrong. Um, we're so critical and hypocritical and judgmental. But at the same time, we have to, we also have to turn to people that we can trust. Whether it's our senator or whether it's our, you know, mayor or someone in our community that is actually showing a great leadership role like that actually has the skills the necessities to carry us out and we need to take in consideration for those kinds of people too and not just one orange dude buffoon i'm not going to say anything more about that <laughs> but i'm serious it, it's very important to recognize our our leaders, recognize the people we admire, people who are actually taking a stand and figuring out what to do in this situation, doctors, leaders, um, keynote speakers, people like even sports people. It's time to appreciate the people that we have around us and um, just know when we're getting out of this, we need to give them our support so they can be able to help our community too. We all need to be a part of this together. We need to find some way to be active. And the best thing to be active, y'all, is being quarantined in this moment because we're all in this self journey together, okay? As weird as it sounds, we're all on our own journey, all on our own path. We're all gonna go different ways. Some of us may go the same way. Some of us will cross path. But all in all, we are in this together. And with the eight of wands, when we all take the time to be alone, work on ourselves, heal, uh, be financially stable, figure out what our action role is on this planet, we're gonna find so many opportunities to work together and really feel good about it, okay? Instead of working against each other and trying to outdo each other, there's going to be so many more opportunities for us to really feel connected and 
I truly believe when you have this kind of mindset, when you do your shadow work healing, it can really bring out a lot, okay? Bring out a lot of opportunity. That's here with the Eight of Wands. Opportunities, it's just, there's so much opportunities and I know it may not seem like it now, but there will be so much opportunities. Like y'all, imagine how many opportunities will be available once we're able to get out of this, okay? When people are able to work again and truly, you know, do what they love to do. Sunlight after darkness. So with this card, after a time of challenges and hurt, there comes a time when the sweet joys of life gently begin to return. Ooh. All right, so sunlight after darkness. Um, there will be. There's no way we're going to be in the dark for long. Basically, that's it, okay? There is... A silver lining to everything see the brighter side of things because after every rainstorm comes the Sun and I believe we will get through this we have to stay positive about it just know that we're not gonna be in this for long okay I don't know how long it will last it may last six months a year a couple months we don't know but just know there will be okay there's gonna be light through all this. So the centennial, um, with this card, it means we are all feeling this, okay? We are all, there is going to be negativity all around, okay? There's gonna be people scared, there's gonna be people fear, there's gonna be people dying, people getting sick. It It's going, we are going to experience that. This isn't like, this isn't like a everything's gonna be sunshine after after it rains no it's gonna come back and rain too and and what i mean by that is just there's gonna be people that are gonna call you crazy they're not gonna like what you're doing um you're like there's gonna be things on the news that you don't like and it's just there is going to be a lot of negativity and it's up to us to decide whether we want to go with the people who are like that or be strong enough to go on the other side. Meaning, I'm going to turn this situation into something peaceful, good, good for me, okay? You got to turn every bad situation into something good. Whether people are hating on you or something crazy, just don't really try your best not to let it get to you. And I, I, I know that's not easy to say, um, but especially when it comes to racism, I know it's such a huge thing against Asians, especially racism, what the president's doing. It seems like a lot's going wrong, but we have to realize we cannot give in to those people, okay? When we react to those situations, yes, it makes it even 10 times worse. Okay, I understand people are doing some bad things. If people are doing bad things, stand up for people, okay? Stand up for people or and walk away. It's no use fighting people over what's happening. Do not fight anyone. Do not waste your time and breath if that person's not going to change and if they already did what they did. That's their problem, not your problem, okay? You got to worry about you. And it's just saying, please just... <sighs> Work, work on yourself, work on it, try not to give in to the negativity, and truly be grateful. Be so grateful for everything you have, and you gotta manifest the good. You really do. You really, if you want to vibe on the same frequency and really come through this, just know we are strong enough to get through this, y'all, okay? Like, if the, like, people have been through wars, my parents are immigrants. They went 26 days without food and water, okay? They came to America, didn't know English. They made it, okay? They built a business. They had kids. They did the whole thing, and they the world didn't end for them. They kept going. And the one thing that keeps people going is knowing that I can do this. You can do this, okay? Y'all can do this. And everyone else, just don't worry about them. But, yes, if anyone is giving you shit, just 
block it out, say bye haters, and protect your energy, okay? Protect your energy at all costs because you're going to need it. And for the last two cards here, inspiration and the inner home and the beautiful thing about these two, you can practice these mandras. They are very similar. Isn't that crazy? They're both very, very similar. And so for inspiration, you're going to do like this. You're going to grab your two thumbs, okay? Going to hold it out, point the point the ring fingers like that and that's for the inspiration mantra so for the inspiration like I said this is a great time for you to be creative for you to figure out your passion whatever you're gonna do at home this is a time to really be inspired figure out what your actions are going to be what your plans will be be inspired to do things on your own because you got nothing else to do in this house okay um, be be creative as in you know whether it's dancing painting writing okay making videos uh, practicing tarot cards like me I don't know do something that really sparks your interest be creative and like I said be inspired because a lot of things will come to your head because you have all this time alone to think about it okay the goddess of creativity shows me my talents and showers me with good ideas. I accept this profusion with joy and thankfulness. Yes. Gosh, be thankful. Really be thankful because this is a time for you to really dive into your hobbies and things you enjoy doing. So take this opportunity. Take advantage of it. Be inspired. Go out there. Go stay in and do something about it. Stay in and be creative, okay? And then the inner home secure within oneself. This is so important, guys. I have confidence in the mother goddess who gives me her company and warming comfort. This mantra also helps with sleeping difficulties, okay? And uh, this mantra patron is Shatiki. She is the goddess of life. And primo energy think of her as a mother or companion who leads us through life and provides comfort in times of loneliness when we feel isolated wow this is I don't know about y'all but this is so relatable okay form a mental image of the great primo mother and then ask her for what you need even the darkest nights gives way to a new dawn when the Sun rises and brings new hope new good new joy okay yes all right so with this mantra okay you're gonna hold your thumb with the ring and the middle finger and you're going to connect the ring and the pinky these two kind of look like two buttholes um and that's the easy way to remember how to do it and that's it okay that's it that's how you do it. Um, this is so important because it's so true. Even when you're alone, you're really not alone, okay? Whatever you believe in, God, spirits, um, you know, I, I know I have my spirits and God with me and they do watch over me and, you know, you can always pray, you can always talk to them, ask them for what you need and most of the time they do give it to you. Most of the time they do. Um, but either or, you're not really alone because we're all in this together. We really are. Our energies are vibrating. We're all kind of collaborating on the same frequency. But either or, we do need to find the security within ourselves because when we're able to figure out ourselves, be one with ourselves, you know, that's truly in life, you'll always have you. And when you're secure with you, Everything else seems a lot easier to handle, I promise. When you're not so focused on taking care or doing things for other people and really take that time to just take care of you. Even if you're at home with your kids and your your family or something, tell them they need to focus on them too. Y'all all gonna be stuck at home. Like everyone needs to focus on themselves and you know, really figure out what they want to do or what you want to do. So I hope y'all enjoy that reading. 
And all in all, I'm wishing y'all the best of luck during this quarantine. Like I said, this is a great time. It has to get worse before it gets better. So unfortunately, we're not gonna know when that will be. And we need to take, take this time to really be at peace with ourselves first. That's what's really important is figuring out our needs, what we want. Um, I know there's other people involved too and we just have to be blessed every day we get a chance to be alive, happy, healthy, and well inside our home, okay? And good luck to everyone during this quarantine. If y'all need anything, please feel free to comment, subscribe, and DM me, okay? If y'all ever are curious about anything else, like I will do my best um, to answer any questions or, you know, if y'all want a reading, feel free to message me and I'll give you more info on that. And good luck to everyone's spiritual healing. I know y'all can do it. I know we're all in this together, but, but separate, you know, between outside these walls. Um, but I believe in y'all. And I'm on this, like I said, I'm on this journey too. So let's all work on ourselves and see, see where this goes. Thanks, y'all.